Down by Jim Long Stage, written by Al Pittman, with illustrations by Pam Hall. Rodney Cod, oh so odd, all dressed up in seaweed sod. Off he went to the bottom of the sea, saying, wouldn't you like to be just like me? Sid Squid went and hid behind a sunken dory. His wife came out and gave him a clout, and Sid said he was sorry. In rows of five and rows of ten, there they sit, those cocks and hens. If you can't see them, do not pout. You'll see them when the tide goes out. A sculpin named Sam thought as he swam how wonderful ugly was he. He said with a grin, I'm ugly as sin. I'm the ugliest fish in the sea. Cabot codfish on a snooze, dreamt Jim Long ate fish and brews. And in his dream for goodness sake, Jim Long got a stomach ache. Russell Muscle opened his door and looked out on the ocean floor. He got such an awful fright to see two lobsters in a fight that Russell Muscle slammed his door and never looked out on the floor no more. Lucy Lumpfish wobbled back and forth, wobbled west and wobbled north. She wondered as she wobbled how wobbly she would be if she wobbled all the way to a wedding in La Sea. Uncle Tom was an old Tom Cod. He traveled far and wide. He went down on the Labrador to find himself a bride. He swam as far as Hopedale. He swam right down to Nain. And then he turned himself around and swam back home again. Ella Eel, so long and slinky, met a squid whose name was Inky. Oh my, said Ella slinking by, when Inky inked her in the eye. A flatfish named Fred, when he rolled out of bed, went soundly asleep on the floor. When called by his mother, his sister or brother, he answered them all with a snore. A lobster named Larry so wanted to marry Lila the lobster next door. That when he proposed and she turned up her nose, he wept all over her floor. Zorro was a swordfish, a roving hero bold. He roved along the Spanish main and captured pirate gold. His neighbors, they all laughed at him. They thought him rather silly, because in fact he was a smelt and lived in Piccadilly. Rosy Rosefish went to bed, a dream of roses in her head. She dreamt how lovely it would be to plant a garden in the sea. Roger was a razorfish, as sharp as he could be. He said to Calvin Catfish, I'll shave you for a fee. No thanks, said Calvin Catfish, I like me like I be. And with his whiskers on his face, he headed out to sea. Rene was a wrinkle. He came from St. Pierre. He settled down and pushed through with his wrinkle lady fair. Donald Dogfish chased a catfish round and round the sea. He chased her till he chased her up a seaweed apple tree. Walter was a wolffish. A ferocious fish was he. He growled and growled and growled and growled his way around the sea. The other fish ignored him, which made him awful sore. So Walter growled and growled and growled till he could growl no more. Young Clem Clam thought as he swam as clumsy as ever he could. How he did wish he was shaped like a fish and could swim wherever he would. Connie Connor's cousin Cora had a friend whose name was Laura. Said Cora to Laura, I'll see you tomorrow down by Jim Long's stage.